All right, let's jump into this. Hey, everyone, welcome back to the Daily Blend Show with me, Reed Daily. This is the weekly rundown. If you are new around here, this is the segment of the show where I feature things going on in pop culture, what's going on at Daily Blend, as well as special projects, collaborations, events, kind of activities that I'm involved with, things that I'm doing. Uh, Before I jump in the show, I want to remind you that it is available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. If you're a social guy, and I'm a social person, check us out on X and Instagram. And with that said, let's jump into the show. So uh, first of all, hopefully you are hearing me and it is sounding a whole a lot clearer. Uh, After hitting the 100,000 download mark, I treated myself and I went out and bought the Shure SM7DB, which I talked about on the show a little bit, I think last week in terms of just some of the the new audio. So we're going to go through kind of updating the audio of the show. You're probably going to see a few ads to the visual identification kind of branding. And then you're going to see a big uptick in the sound off segment, which is the Q&A that I do with other people. Uh, I've just been lining up a bunch of interviews uh, in the sort of the background and looking forward to kind of really focused on showcasing uh, brands that I'm interested in personally, professionally, people that inspire me and just like some fantastic owner operators and innovators doing some really cool stuff. Once that sort of, you know, gets launched, if you will, then I want to go out and purchase some lighting and start to do more video uh, versions of the podcast. I've tried it and sort of experimented a little bit. I don't love the lighting that I have in my office and I want it to look kind of crisp. So I've got to watch a few more YouTube videos. And if anyone out there who's listening has done this before and is just a whiz bang at lighting and knows how to do really good backlighting, side lighting, all that stuff, you know, DM me, email me, just get in touch, help me out. I love it. I would appreciate it. And then after that, it's just editing and I've got that down. Uh, pretty well. We we you know, gonna mostly do just a single camera view, maybe two camera view. Uh, but yeah, just keep it kind of simple. Um, let's jump into kind of what's going on though. Uh, so I was on the road last week in Boston for some events. Really felt energized by meeting new people, connecting that sort of thing. Uh, it's it's really funny to me because I go to, from a lot of uh, event prep which is unfortunately a lot of laptop time. And then, you know, in front of people doing sort of events and kind of interacting with people, which is like high energy, you know, lots of movement back to post-event sort of recap data capture, which is, it should just be faster with the tools. You should just be able to, you know, scan a business card and it's just in your system tagged or, you know, have LinkedIn flow through to your, your tools, but it just never works as seamlessly as I want, but I digress. I'm talking about all this audio and why I was recording this. I use batteries for the first time, and usually I power it off my computer, and of course, it uh, the batteries died. But uh, yeah, so back to what I was talking about, which is we're continuing down the Throwback Thursday with In Search of Sunrise, which was Tiesto's sort of last stretch with trance, if you will, and almost like a deep house, progressive house vibe and um yeah i'm just a big fan of that that whole series we just launched uh looking at number five we're about to launch number six and um you know i just thought tiesto did a great job of it and then he moved over to big room sound and uh you know continued to grow up and do all his good fancy stuff uh in terms of daily blend mix series so i sort of was initially thinking that episode 150 was going to be you know, a bunch of um, three mixes, like kind of like a deep house, EDM, and then a uh, sort of late night. And now I'm not sure. I downloaded 52 EDM tracks this weekend, and I started mixing them, and it sounds okay. I want to go back and kind of retweak it, but I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to launch with at least one mix that's the, um, you know, EDM and 100 and... Um, 
like 52 tracks, a couple hours for uh, episode 150. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the other mixes or just let those sort of be. Um, not sure yet, but it is coming. It should be out by the end of the week. And of course, you can go check out all past Sunday sessions. In terms of what's going on with uh, Drink with Greg and Negronis with Greg, uh, we've got the uh, latest and greatest from Drink of the Week. With uh, This week we are doing the Dear uh, Diary by Bill Helmkamp, who was one of the co-founders of The Whistler. If you've been following along this podcast as well as the uh, Drink with uh, Greg podcast and, and series, you're going to know that we're doing a lot of features on what's going on with this Whistler, um, I keep on calling it a cookbook, recipe book. And I was so like, it was it was an interesting buying experience. You know, I'll have a beer or a drink for 15 bucks at a bar, but, you know, I had a second or third guess buying a little pamphlet book supporting some local people, which is such a weird mental thing that that's where we're at. Like, we'll buy apps, but we won't, you know, like, like an app on your phone, but you're like, all right, I got to get some physical goods shipped to my house. If it's not through Amazon, I don't know. Anyway, I, I bought this little booklet. I think it's like 62 pages and it's, you know, pocket, almost like a pocket journal. And it's fantastic. It's this like little book that they, they launched for their 15 year anniversary. I'm just such a big fan of that venue. Um, it was one of the first ones that I went to in Chicago where I was like, okay, this is cool. I like this city. I like the vibe. Um, and it felt like home uh, when I went and checked it out, I don't know, 10, 15, uh, not 15, but 12 or 13 years ago. Anyway, um, Greg and I have put out uh, some new podcast content, so you can listen to the latest from Negronis with Greg. We recorded, or I shouldn't say, we had um, our AI engine running on a Drink with Greg episode, but we forgot to hit record. So we can actually hear the audio in the transcription software, but we can't get it out of the software. It's a dumb problem to have. So we thought we'd have some new Drink with Greg content ready for you guys, um, but we don't. Uh, so you'll have to do with the uh, Negronis with Greg. These are all first world problems. And then just switching back over to Daily Blend. So I continue to put out uh, what I'm talking about in terms of, you know, some of these uh, toolkits. And the, the, the latest one that I put out is really about uh, weekly planning. And so we made an edit with it. We initially had had it where it was going to be sort of like a, you know, piece of paper. And we just turned it horizontally, but fits better, looks better. Um, you can go over to dailyblend.com and head over to the show and the show notes. And check out the post, and you'll be able to access it through Canva and Google Docs. I think next I'm going to play around with, just because I want to learn how to use the tools better, uh, Coda and Notion, um, they're competitors, and I just want to see which one's better or works better for my needs. So we'll be putting together some sort of like, I think there's like a store or app store, however you can download templates through Coda or Notion, we'll put those there so you can download them. And um, in terms of any everything else, you know, um, just new music, um, more interviews coming on Daily Blend. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you.